Hey guys, it's your girl Sophina the Diva and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. Here in California, it's been getting a bit chilly. You know, people are, are saying I'm funny for wearing so much uh, clothing because your girl is very cold all the time. And I got my new scarf if you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> a few days ago, uh, I talked about my scarf. But the bad thing is, look it, it got lint all over me. So I'm gonna have to like wash it a couple times so that doesn't happen because that's just not cute. But okay, let's get back to this video. A day without gymnastics. Now, I feel like this is really, really important. I should have actually probably called it like a day without sports because it's really important to recharge yourself from your sport, from gymnastics, and have a day to yourself that's like a normal day. Like, of course, we love gymnastics. We love going to practice. We love going to competitions and things of that sort. But we also love doing other things as well. At least I know I do. So we're going to talk about the things that you should do when you don't have practice and definitely comment below some other things that you like to do when you don't have practice other things that you think that you should do when you don't have practice so one of the first things is if you're in school you wake up and usually you're gonna go to school and then you're probably gonna have practice but instead of packing your bag for gymnastics practice pack a bag for some fun activities after school like going to the movies with your friends going to the mall with your friends and things of that sort so that you don't have to pack your bag for gymnastics and pack your lunch and eat in the car on your way to practice Practice. Instead, you're gonna pack a bag of change of clothes, an extra jacket, so that when you come home later on in the day, you're warm from going to the mall, going to the movies, and having a good time with your friends that maybe are gymnasts or are not gymnasts that you don't get to see very often because you're practicing all the time. I think that's really important. I do believe in like friendship and stuff. Like you don't have to talk to someone every day and hang out with someone every day for it to be a true friendship. When you do have these little downtime, definitely take that out for yourself to really have a good time with those friends and catch up on some things. Another great thing about that is like, instead of going home super late at night, like you probably typically would, or at least I did after practice, and then had to eat my dinner after practice, or I had to eat in the car, or at home by myself. Instead, you get to come home and maybe have dinner with your family, dinner with your mom, your dad, your whole family, your sister, your brother, your dog, things like that. Catch up on your favorite shows, binge watch a little bit, because maybe you don't do that very often. I definitely don't do that very often, and those days that I do get that I get to binge watch oh my god lazy days are great sometimes just great so definitely take that time out to do some self-care I love for myself I love to binge watch sometimes if I'm in like a little homey mood I like to do face masks and massage and get my nails done and things of that sort kind of just have a self-care day self-pamper day and really just enjoy that day for yourself as well another thing is if you're going to school you know maybe you might wear your leotard underneath everything or maybe you know you're not wearing like the cutest clothes when you go to school and stuff like that because then you have practice after. This time you can definitely take the time to actually dress up, get into your most favorite outfit, your most stylish outfit and strut your stuff at school. Shut your stuff around the mall. Shut yourself everywhere. It's not like you have to wear a leotard. So say it's Friday night or Saturday night. You're not coming home late at night so maybe you could throw a party, a sleepover, go over your friend's house because you don't get to do that because sometimes you have practice the next day. You know that's really fun. You get to like have your own little time time to actually stay up later than you typically would because you don't have to wake up super early to do things. Another thing going along with that is sleep in. I mean me personally my body doesn't let me sleep in for some reason. It's just used to waking up early which I don't mind. I'm a big early person. I don't typically stay up very late. I'm a morning person not a night person 100%. I can tell you stories about that but when it comes to that typically maybe I'll wake up around 5 or 6 a.m. on a normal basis but on the weekend my body might let me sleep in till 8. So sleep in and I'll get that a little good night's rest, that beauty sleep, a rise and shine and just all in all guys, it is really, really important to have a self-care day, a day without gymnastics. Really take that time to gather yourself out, do things that you probably typically wouldn't do, that you've been wanting to do. Self-care, get rest, things like that. Because when you do go back to practice, when you go whatever, whatever practice or whatever obligation you might have, your coach, your teammates, everyone will see how energized you are, how much happier you are because you took that time for yourself to do what you want, when you want, how you want. That's my little tidbit that 
that I have for you guys. Please make sure to comment down below, like what I said before, other things that you do for your own self-care, your own day that you don't have practice. What do you like to do? What do you think that's important for yourself and maybe for other people to read and hear? I hope you like this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Sophina the Diva and on Twitter at Sophina underscore DeJesus. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.